Hello, hello, hello. If you resonated with the Five of Swords, then this is your reading, your dream reading. So let us choose this deck and spill. Mm, we'll shuffle a little bit longer. Hold on. Um, okay. Um, oh. Whoa, okay. I feel like for you, there is an ending that is beyond ready. And there is a new beginning that is beyond ready to start. There is like this energy of like, this is like, this has been over or this is you've been waiting for this like there's this energy of like i've been like overdue like popping out ripping out the plastic like there's this energy of like i've been ready for this to pop off we've been waiting for this we've been waiting for this this feels like like at this point it's overboard like it there's over there's so much energy just waiting to come out there's so much waiting to blossom there's so much waiting to be given you've got so much to give this is like excess and excess because it's like almost been starved like it's been waiting so long it's been so patient but to the point where there's just so much so you could be having dreams about okay so there we've got the fool that popped out you could be having dreams about um like uh delayed delays um and anxious awaiting anticipation um uh this feeling of like uncontrollable energy like, like abundance of energy and controllable energy overwhelm i'm seeing like a lot of water like oceans like just abundance and just like and needing a place for that to go though waiting for direction judgment the fool and judgment hmm. Not the plastic out of it. I can bring you. You could be somebody. I was just watching um, a performance by Lotto, by Big Lotto, and you could be someone who's like been doing what they are doing right now or what they're striving towards for a long time. Like yeah, with Seven of Pentacles, you could have been working on whatever it is that you're still working on, or you're waiting to pop on for a long time, or you could have had this dream. For a very long time this is something that's like goes way back way far back like to childhood like this has always been something that's mattered to you this has always been something very important to you and you've been waiting a very long time like your whole life basically for something to happen for there to be a big change here um you've been waiting for this thing to come to to come alive for a very long time you could have had a tower moment in the in the far far past um in the deep past and this could be energy of like waiting for something to come from that like something could have happened a long time ago an ending could have happened you could have faced a loss a long time ago that or you could have planted a seed a long time ago you could have let go of something a long time ago knowing that it would eventually come back around in the form of this bloom that you needed like this energy that you needed but it might have taken a very long time this could have taken a year could have been like a year around the sun 365 days like a year ago you planted this seed and you've been waiting for it to bloom or you've been tending to this garden this could also be several years though because i'm hearing this could be a year this could be 16 years you've been waiting for this new beginning you've been waiting for this thing to happen feels like you've been waiting a very long time there could be like cancerian energy here but this also with the lobster here makes me think about um I think something that I heard were like crabs and lobsters like they live a long time because there's not many things that like they don't die naturally of th many things so it's like this undying wish this undying dream this could be like your oh wow this could be like your seventh incarnation with this dream with this desire this could be something that is a soul desire so your des your spirit has been waiting for this to come to fruition and it's been holding on it was maybe given this dream seven incarnations ago 
The number seven is also significant, I think, for how long it takes to break a generational curse, right? Seven generations or something like that. So this, this could also be something ancestral, like something is coming to fruition in this lifetime that your ancestors have been dreaming of. Like this is just big energy of like something coming to pass that has been, you've been waiting on, you've been waiting on. You could have had this energy of yearning and this feeling of like um, waiting for judgment to be casted over your life for a very long time. Like this could be um, kind of waiting for the universe to make a decision your whole life. Kind of feeling like your fate was always in something else's hands. Feeling like you were kind of out of control and just waiting for something to happen. Waiting for the other shoe to drop. Waiting to have this discovery. We could be waiting for waiting to be blessed with a child. Um, but I feel like you've been trying to crack something open. You've been trying to figure out something. And I feel like it's just been placed. Like I feel like it's just about to be placed into your energy. I almost feel like you've been looking for something that wasn't actually even here. Like it was still in the in the spirit realms. And it might be something that's coming down to earth now or that is being you are being given the tools to create this now like there's been a change in the wind something is coming to alignment something is about to bloom it has everything it needs now to bloom i feel like something is just about has now crossed the boundary something is just crossed over into your energy something you've been waiting to come in yeah i feel like something has just been revealed yeah the ten of swords had come out before as well ace of swords page of wands and pentacles you got the page of swords the knight of cups the ace of wands and the ten of swords i feel like a lot of things had to come together for this thing to happen and i think it required a lot of patience on your end yeah justice i think a lot of things had to come together and i think a lot of it was out of your hands Like, yeah, I feel like a lot of it was out of your hands. Like you were waiting for judgment to be called. I feel like it could have taken a lot of years. This feels like, and this is like a dream that, this isn't like a recent dream. This is something you've been dreaming about or it's been on your heart or you've been, it's been in your mind or it's a feeling that there's the sun. Yeah, I was thinking about the sun. This is something that's been happening for, that you've been on your heart for a very long time. Could be your whole life. And it feels like something that you've kind of always been at war with because there was never a solution. It was just this yearning feeling or this battle to, you know, fight for this thing. A lot of aces here. I think it, there's definitely a new beginning coming in. I think that something is um, coming to life, but I also think that you are experiencing some form of enlightenment, either in being becoming aware of something or... Um, just um you it's even like there's this energy of like your aunt like something's being released within your ancestry like you could within this time frame you could be feeling a lot of um like uh spiritual energy passing through you could feel like a lot of energy is passing over to the other side and i feel like a lot of ancestors that have maybe been kind of caught in between and haven't been able to move on are being able to move on now and i think it's through the fruition of this gift or this blessing or this miracle that's coming into your life this thing that you've been wanting i think when this thing enters your life i think many many ancestors in your ancestral line will pass on because this was the final thing that was needed like they were waiting until this happened and i feel like when this happens they might move on lots of energy this is big energy this is a wish come true this is definitely a wish come true and it feels like for some people it could be with the birth of a child but something is coming to light i feel like something is being exposed in a good way the ace of pentacles and the five of wands I feel like you're going to have a realization. Like, I feel like you're going to have a aha moment where you realize that, like, because I think that you've kind of been in this, like, state of battle over this thing. Yeah. And I feel like you're going to have a, an aha moment 
where you realize that you don't need to fight and that what you're looking for like I think what you're looking for has finally been brought to you I feel like your ship has come in like with three of wands energy I feel like you're no longer in the three of wands I feel like you've moved on to the four of wands I feel like your ship has come in I think you're going to realize that because I think that you're still kind of in this energy of fighting for something like you have to fight for this I feel like you don't need to prove yourself anymore you're going to have that realization and then I feel like you're going to be guided to go look for something in a place where there is softness in a place where there is like a warm, loving, caring space, kind of like a womb-like space. I feel like you're gonna go be guided to go look for something in an environment where like a child would be born. Like it has to have that kind of soft, nurturing energy. And that's where you're going to discover this thing that you've been waiting for or signs of this thing. But yeah, there's like, there's definitely a rebirth. It's not actually, it's not rebirth. There's like a birth energy here something is being born there's a birthing energy here and it's not you're not going to find it in this energy of fighting and not fighting like you're being combative fighting like you're fighting for this you're fighting for this you're not going to find it in that energy where you're like willing to take on the challenge it's not warrior energy it's very soft energy it's very like beginning energy i feel like it's in this womb state um energy anything any area of your life where it's like soft like a child like um like the energy of a child being born is where you're going to find this thing now you have the four of wands and the knight of cups is coming out yeah you have death here also death and the, the four of wands and the six of swords i don't know if i mentioned those I just feel like things are lining up. Ten of Wands. I feel like things are lining up. And it's funny because things could be in the Four of Wands energy, but you might be in the Ten of Wands energy where you're just feeling like depleted and ready for this new beginning and still like kind of in this chaos of dealing with all of this energy and all of these emotions and just trying to balance it all. And I feel like Spirit is like, you're not in the ten of wands you're in the four of wands like the ending has already happened the new beginning has already happened this thing has been born and it's waiting for you to come find it i feel like something has been born without you even realizing it and you need to go find it like i feel like you're gonna have to go find it and the way for you to find it is also to figure out where within yourself there is this soft nurturing newborn energy where is there newborn energy within you because i feel like something has been born in a very realistic sense you could have a child that's just been born and you might not know about them <laughs> which would be crazy so i hope that's not it but in this feels not like it's not that this feels more so that something has been born yeah, and I feel like there's a part of you that senses that. I feel like there's a part of you that is picking up that there's something here that wasn't here before. But you might be sensing it from a place of strength where you're defensive and you feel like something, like you feel protective, almost like a mother, um, a, like, a, like a mother bear, but almost like you don't even know the baby bear that you're trying to protect. But you just feel like there's something going on. So again, there's that warrior battling like, fighting for this, protecting this fierce energy. But Spirit's like, you don't need to protect anything. First of all, you don't even know where the thing is that you're trying to protect, but you're just picking up. There's like this intuitive like mother energy that's being um, channeled through you right now because you can sense that something is here, I feel like. But you need to figure out, you need to go find this thing instead of worrying about protecting it and fighting for this because you're in the warrior energy too much. You need to let that down. Let your guard down. There's nothing more to fight for. This thing has been dropped off while you've been fighting. Yes. And now you need to go find it. And right now, I think it's actually being watched over and guarded by and protected by your ancestors. And I think that you'll know the moment you find it because I think that you'll notice a wave of release. Because I think the moment you find it, your ancestors will know that it's safe with you and they'll move on. And I feel like there will be a huge release at that point. But you need to go find it. 
and take your time. There's no need to rush. Like this is meant to be a healing journey. The journey towards you finding this thing, which I don't think it's going to be very long, but it's going to be just a little quest. And I think that it's meant to kind of help cool you down after being in such fiery energy of like the warrior and after working so long. I think this is meant to be a soothing path um, for you to go discover this thing. And when you go find it, I think it will be incredibly healing and incredibly joyful for you. But yeah, it feels like you're about to be go sent, about to be sent on a journey to go pick up this, this thing. And again, you'll be able to recognize it because there's something precious about it. The energy is precious. It's newborn. It's very watery. It's very emotional. It's very soft. It's very feminine. There's a lot of feminine energy coming in through these readings. A lot of feminine energy. And you need to maybe dig into that feminine because you have the feminine energy coming in through you, but it's coming through as like the warrior and like the mother, like the protective mother. But you need to enter like the nurturing side of the feminine. And it's and it's really within yourself. But this new beginning is calling you and I feel like you can feel this thing calling you. And I feel like you even might have a sense of where it is, but it's not where you're looking. I feel like you have a sense of where it is, but it's not where you're looking. It's like behind you, but you have a sense of where it is. It's just that you're not looking at it with your eyes, with your two eyes. But intuitively, I think you know where this is. So you need to kind of tune in and you need to tap in. And if you need help, you can ask for help. Ask for help from your spirit team. Ask for help from your ancestors. I think that they can help you. I think the Arishas could also help you right now. This is exciting. What the hell? This is a big deal. It's supposed to be calming, though. It's supposed to be relaxing. It's not supposed to be stressful. This is not supposed to be stressful. This is supposed to be healing. Okay. Yeah, I feel like so a candle has been lit in the darkness and now it's just a matter of you following the light. Following the light. And when you follow it, you're going to get to this place and you're going to find this thing. And I think when you find it, I think that'll usher in a new beginning, not just for you, but for your ancestors as well. Two of Wands. Yeah. I feel like this is something that was like faded. This is something that was always meant to happen as well. I've got a lot of faded energy coming through in these readings as well. But this is for you. This is meant for you. This is being brought to you because it was meant for you. Yeah, this is being brought to you. This was given to you, and I think it's something that you've earned. Okay. Congratulations. I know I'm speaking so calmly, um, but this is big energy. I just, um, I just feel calm. I feel relaxed. Trust the niggle. What is the niggle trying to tell you? What is the niggling feeling trying to tell you? You might already know where this is. Devotion. Tune into the portal of your heart, inner temple. If you tune into the portal of your heart, it'll tell you. If you connect with your inner child, you might also be able to find it. Your inner child might also help guide you towards this. But yes, it's true. Unbound, releasing soul patterns contracts and past lives i think this is a big deal i think this is a big deal for you and your ancestors so congratulations because i think a lot of beings are about to move on because of you 
which is quite a gift. <laughs> what a lifetime. Okay, bye. Oh, um, if you connected to this reading, please let me know. Um, comment down below. Um, yeah, yeah, comment, like, subscribe. Bye. <laughs>